How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So let's discuss on how do we mark people or how do we figure out who's friendly or who's an enemy realistically if we're you know, put into a position that there is multiple opposing forces against us. How do we know who is who? And this isn't really discussed a lot, but it is extremely important. Now, why I bring this up is because I've had firsthand experience with this overseas. Is in global war on terror, we didn't exactly, at least 80% of the time, we didn't have a uniformed force that we were uh, going against. It was a populace. Now, there's multiple other wars, of course, that you could all cite or battles or all this other stuff that had the same similar stuff. But if something would majorly occur, like where we are or civil unrest, there isn't going to be a uniform, potentially. There may be. Now, but more than likely, it's going to be like, hey, he's just wearing tactical clothing or civvies, or he could be exactly dressed how I am, just decent boots, you know, some pants, some woodland colors, and a chest carrier and a rifle, and that's it. Am I friendly? Am I an enemy? Which some of you would probably go, well, if I'm, you know, stationed up somewhere and I see that, I'm just going to smoke them. That's very poor judgment because that individual could be a massive asset to you and your group could be he could be a friendly that's like really knowledgeable maybe you know prior delta force or something like that that was originally like or green beret that was honestly their whole job was to train other people to fight and he maybe he got like pulled away from his unit and he's just trying to find you or maybe he was tasked to find you and you just light this dude up how can you go about doing this better? Now, I have some tricks, tips and tricks on how you know you can figure this out and just ideas to process in your mind. So if we look at the current conflict that's going on as of this year, which is early 2023, which occurred in 2022, which I'm not going to name because YouTube is very um, upset, and it starts with a U, and ends with a crane. <laughs> so if you look at images and stuff from there, they are using odd marking systems. And mainly those marking systems is tape or bandanas or surveyor's tape, you know? Whatever they can pretty much get a hold of they are wrapping around their arms as in like saying, hey, you know, this color means this. And they don't have really that selected uniform. Like we in the States where I'm here now could potentially have. We couldn't really have uniforms. It's going to be a bunch of us randomly doing stuff. Now, of course, you could just stick with blue and you run blue all the time. But then infiltrators and then what if people try to copy those? Well, my recommendation is it within your group is have multiple different colors or systems and you could change it weekly or daily or even hourly if your team allows it to. And this could be anything, bandanas on the head, you know, bandanas around the arm. Okay, hey, we're going down to the knee or hey, we're going to the waistline. And then you transition those to whatever it is. Same with tape. Hey, we're going to do red tape on the left arm for today. Tomorrow, it's going to be blue tape on the right arm. And as long as you have a communications, you know, set in place, you can notify other people around you depending on where your area, your area of operations or AOR is. So you could probably potentially in code tell people that. So if you see a guy coming up and he's got, you know, red tape on his left arm and today is blue tape on the waistline or something like that, you're going to be like, okay, either this guy didn't get the memo or he's an enemy trying to impersonate us. So then you can take steps to figure out who they are, or if it's a large group and they're all running something completely different, you still got to worry about it, but it's more in line with, okay, I'm pretty sure these dudes are not here to play and here to help me. Now, other things other than tape, what you could use is honestly patches. Now, if you have a bunch of American flag patches, hey, today it's center line normal patch or it's a black patch tomorrow hey invert it we're going upside down all tomorrow if you see an, an inverted american flag 
that's a friendly or potentially a friendly. Of course, you can have running passwords and stuff as you close the distance and whatnot on somebody like, hey, you know, thunder, and then they reply, you know, lightning or whatever it is, whatever you come up with. That can be used. Hey, maybe we're doing, you know, flag on top of the head or flag on the arm or inverted or, you know, vertical flag or we're doing something completely different. There's so many different ways. As long as you have abundance of them and you can repeat them to your forces, then you're good to go. Now, also, this comes into play with other things is observation. So, which a lot of things, I'm not trying to get too dark and deep into it, but this is why I run magnification pretty much on all my weapon systems is because it allows me to see better. If, you know, 400 meters out, I see a guy walking towards me, but I only have a red dot. Okay, well, maybe one of my teammates has magnification and they can verify. But just to be a, like to help your team, maybe just run magnification. Now you can throw this up and go, hey, he's got a flag on his upper left corner inverted. And they're like, and your team leads like, cool, that's good. That's today's, you know, aspect. He's a friendly. Let's close the distance and then confirm. You know, we can do an L-shaped ambush ready to go on like a whole group of people. And then when they're like, hey, we're good. And then, you're like, dude, you almost got smoked. Good thing you had it, you know. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. And I'm not going to get into running passwords. There's all kinds of different stuff. There's ID cards you can physically make with Polaroid cameras immediately. Put something in the background. I mean, there's tons of information on this that I can go on. But I just wanted to discuss that. Marking. Marking your friendly folks. Marking stuff out and around. It is very important for you not to smoke friendly forces by accident because it happens a lot. And it happens a lot, unfortunately, with solid, real mechanized forces, like, you know, potential other countries. You know, they're shooting each other or engaging each other by accident, even with modern uniforms, modern weapon systems. You know, that's the benefit of like, you know, back in the 80s, hey, he's got an AK, he's a commie. <laughs> hey, he's got an AR, that's an American. <laughs> you know, LA or 96 A1, you know, oh, British. If something bad happens, everybody's going to be hodgepodge together about, you know, like U's and Mosins. Look at the U and the specific crane right now is there's World War II weapons, STG-44s, there's Dishkas, there's, you know, all kinds of Mosins being used. You can't just be like, oh, it's a Mosin, he's bad. Granted, I'm going on a rant here, but if you guys enjoy this type of stuff, get you, I want to get you thinking. Do you have stuff in place? Just simple tape. Just go to the hardware store. I'm going to buy one tape this month. Six months later, hey, I'm going to buy that color tape. Yeah, you can use it around the house, but just replace it. So I'm going to link some of this stuff in the description box below. If you want to Amazon, or order it off of Amazon, it would benefit me and the channel. I make like 20 cents, 10 cents off of like probably a roll of tape, which would be awesome because 20 cents is... 20 cents I didn't have before to put back in the channel to give you guys more material. See how that works? Pretty cool, right? But other than that, I just wanted to discuss it. I hope y'all, or well, before we do that, let's do like, subscribe, comment. If you thought about this before, we also, also have Patreon and PayPal. And if you have thought about this, definitely leave a comment. If you haven't, if you hate this, don't like it. Say you suck. You're terrible. You're great. I like it. Whatever you want to put, put in the comment section below. All right, I guess that's my ending. Y'all have a great day. <sighs> All right. Man, you guys must see something out there. All right. Let's hope the audio is better. Hit! <laughs>